health beat today, congenital cytomegalovirus, or CMV, is sometimes called America Zika. Babies contract the virus in the womb, and the symptoms are similar, but CMV is much more common. 40,000 babies are born with CMV in the U.S. each year. About one in five of those will develop long-term health problems. A mom who passed the virus on to her daughter has made it her mission to now raise awareness, increase screening, and push for treatment. And she's already made huge progress. What do you see? Can you tell me what you see on the path? Sarah Dutre took many precautions when she was pregnant with Daisy six years ago. Still, she passed on CMV, a virus she'd never even heard of. We found that CMV could cause a progressive hearing loss. And while Daisy only had a mild loss in her right ear at that time, we knew it would progress quickly. Ten years ago, the University of Utah's Dr. Albert Park started studying CMV and helped develop a diagnostic test. Well, we saw that quite a few of these children who previously had no diagnosis, um, no one knew what the cause of their hearing loss was, we found that it was actually could be attributed to this virus. Dr. Park has become a passionate advocate for CMV screening, which has to be done within two to three weeks of birth. He teamed up with Sarah and her mom, former state representative Rhonda Menlove, to pass a bill mandating CMV screening for babies who fail the newborn hearing test. With that screening, Daisy could have started therapy and an antiviral drug sooner. Had we been given that option when she was an infant, we would have taken that option. We would have used the antivirals to help prevent that progression of her hearing loss or prevent hearing loss. I'd love to be at a stage where I don't see kids uh, when they're four or five with progressively worsening hearing loss from congenital CMV because we have interventions or ways to prevent that from happening. Dr. Park has FDA approval to start a clinical trial of a CMV antiviral to stop hearing loss. He hopes to start enrollment this winter. And that trial will run in Utah and 29 other locations. For now, pregnant moms can lower their risk for CMV infection by hand washing frequently, not sharing straws, utensils, food or drink, since CMV is transmitted through bodily fluids.